Welcome to your weekly dose of chords with monochrome seasons. Today I have my acoustic guitar because I want to talk about the minor fourth chord and it was most probably popularized by the Beatles. I don't know if you know them but they use it in a lot of their songs and it's everywhere in pop songs nowadays. So what do I mean by minor fourth? It means that we are going to pick a major key, so let's say E major, and we are going to find the fourth note of that scale. One, two, three, four. So usually that fourth note has a major chord built into it because it's in a major key. So that would do uh, songs that sound like this. So basically I was playing a first degree major and fourth degree major too. But we can introduce a minor chord on that fourth degree. Thus the minor fourth chord. And it adds just a nice color into your progression. I'm sure you instantly think about a Beatles song that you know that uses this progression. So we can use the minor fourth chord for many different uses. Um, we can play it right away after the chord like I did. So it would be E major and A minor instantly. something like this, but you can first play the fourth major chord and then introduce the minor chord. And it's the most common way it is used, uh, like this. E major, E, A major, and then A minor, okay? I uh, think instantly about this, uh, the finger-picking song Blackbird from the Beatles when I hear this progression. You know that song? Uh, near the end, it does something like this. So this is the perfect example of a major, major fourth, minor fourth, and then you can play the first. It's really good because it introduces a chromatic melodic movement. this adds just the right color to your song. Sorry for the bad reference, but it's also in some other modern songs like that uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends from Green Day. Wake me up when September ends. So exactly like this. Major fourth minor fourth and first major. So it's directly inspired by the Beatles. You can also play it in chord progressions. It's not mandatory to have the first degree before or after. And John Lennon really liked to uh, write songs with that in mind. So he would use the second degree minor, fourth degree minor and first major, sometimes like this. Or you can use it in other ways too. So let's say that I pick a C major. So it's in C major, C major key. So this would be our first chord. An A minor would be our sixth degree minor. And then we can add our uh, fourth minor, which would be F minor. And then a G, which would be the uh, 
fifth degree major. Something like this. So you can use the minor fourth progression. Yes, I admit it, sometimes it sounds cheesy, but it can add just a right flavor or color to your chord progressions. And I'm going to add on screen some popular progressions with open chords that use the minor fourth. As always, click all the links that appear on the screen to visit my online school for more in-depth lessons and to subscribe to my channel because there is a new lesson coming every Wednesdays. So until next time, leave a big thumbs up to this video and I say au revoir.